States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we have a special opener for you. We decided to ask Trent and Nathan 10 common knowledge questions and see what their answers are. Some of it is scripted, some of it isn't. You can decide what does. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Hi, this is Caden here, and we have trivia with Trent and Nate. Let's start off with an easy question. It's just a guess. What do you think you're going to get on this? 70. All right, all right. What do you think you're going to get on this, Nate? I'm going to go with a healthy 4 out of 10. 50%. I think I can do it. Nate, what shape is a stop sign? I'm going to have to go with octagon. Hexagon. What countries border the U.S.? Mexico and Canada. <laughs> Canada. Is that it? What country is for the U.S.? Oh God, here it's going downhill now. <laughs> Canada. What war did America win its independence? Can you repeat the question? What war did America win its independence? The independent war. Uh, uh, English war? <laughs> what is the square root of nine? Three. 81. How do you spell Wednesday? Oh my, I know. W E D N E S D A Y W W E D N S D A Y Who was the sixteenth president of the United States? Six come on. Six sixteenth uh I'm gonna go with uh, the guy with the, the guy with the last name Carter. <laughs> J Jimmy Jimmy Carter. Final answer. Jimmy Car Jimmy Carter. Final answer. Thank you, Nate. <laughs> Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. We're in a sudden death final here because we have a tie. The final question is who discovered America? George Washington. Okay. Christopher Columbus. What year? 1942. Good morning, Morning Shores. Are your daily announcements for Friday, February 24, 2017. I'm Nate. And I'm Jordan. Students in advanced placement classes, your teachers will be handing out forms sent up for the AP tests. Please fill out the form and bring in $15 per test to Mitch Scott's in the front office by tomorrow to be registered. The remaining balance will be due later in April. The art department trip to the Detroit Institute of the Arts is coming up. Deadline to enroll is today. Please see Ms. Drells or Ms. Spence Fennell. If you're one of the lucky recipients of the 50% off or 25% off Anchor Cafe coupon from your fourth hour teacher, please note that the coupon expires on Monday. By using your coupon, it also gives your teacher a chance at winning a free beverage from Anchor Cafe. You can't say Mae Jemison was born on October 17, 1956. She's an American engineer, physician, and a NASA astronaut. She is the first African American woman to travel into space. She made the historic moment on September 12, 1992 aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor. This is Sailor Country, we do everything with pride. I'm Nick. Student Senate and Together We Fight are hosting a dodgeball tournament with local schools such as Muskegon Catholic, Puffer, Muskegon, and other schools to raise money for cancer on March 8th from 7 to 9. Teams of six people must have a team name and theme should appropriately represent a specific type of cancer. The cost is $10 per person. Spectators are free, but donations are accepted. Money and teams are due March 1st. 
You can pick up your forms in the athletic office. The JV girls basketball team put an exclamation mark on the end of their season, knocking off the Union Red Hawks 59-18. The Lady Sailors opened the third quarter by going on a 24-0 run, putting the nail in the coffin. Leading the way was Julia Tierman, who finished with a game-high 15 points, followed closely by Raylan Delo, who had 13. Ashley Kruger finished with 7. Shelby Savakul with 6. Kayla Savage, Tiana Pittman, and Aubrey Cooper each with 4. Makaya Dowell, Mika Hart, and Megan DeLong each with 2. The team finished with a 13-7 overall record while going 10-2 in the conference. Congratulations on a great season. Today in sports, the bowling teams compete in the regionals at Northway Lanes. The swim team travels to Hastings for conference prelims, and the varsity basketball teams travel to Union. Tomorrow, hockey hosts Traverse City Central, and the varsity competitive cheer hosts the MHSAA regionals. especially my pops, for helping me get to where I am today. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. I, I'm honored to be the number one ranked dodgeball player in the nation. And for this next dodgeball tournament, I'll be taking my talents too. Sailor dogs, baby. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a fantastic Friday.